If you didn't know, Cedar Point is so much more than just an amusement park. Of course, they have a water park. They have their own beach. You can go out, walk on the beach. Multiple resorts. That is the Hotel Breakers. That's like the, the Grand Floridian of Cedar Point, if you will. Beautiful balconies overlooking Lake Erie. This is, this is more than just an amusement park. This is 100% a resort. So here you go, everyone that wants to know what the view is for most of these rides, especially Millennium, Valraven. This is what you got. Magnum, of course. It's gorgeous. Yeah, if you're a hotel guest or a season pass holder, you get access to the boardwalk right along the park. And just beach views as far as the eye can see. This is uh, just an added bonus to getting a season pass. Hey, 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 how is everyone doing today? And this fine, hopefully it's a fine, Wednesday, September 27th. The ride behind me, it kind of looks like a hybrid, huh? Well, guess what? It actually is a hybrid. Wooden structure, steel track. No, it's not an RMC though. Surprisingly, it is an arrow. This ride is called Gemini. It opened in 1978, 45 years going. The height is 125 feet, which fun fact is technically when it opened, the tallest roller coaster in the world? Maybe, because Busch Gardens Williamsburg also says Loch Ness Monster was technically taller. I think this one has a bigger drop, so Cedar Point, of course, as Cedar Point likes to do, kind of hype up the stats if they can. So, And it was one of the tallest roller coasters in the world when it opened. 125 feet, 60 miles per hour. And yes, it duels. You see a red train and a blue train. Oh my God, I'm going to get a race probably. What? Um, but you know, racing coasters. They're way, way more on fun, maybe less on thrills, but Gemini, from what I remember, also has some thrills too. So, and I think usually this love in the dual lift. Oh, only if Twisted Colossus did that, right? So, hyped to get back on Gemini. I, I had a blast the last time. I'm getting a new credit because I only rode the red train five years ago, and this time I'm getting the blue train. So yes, new credit for me. Love it, love it. Ah, let's get back on Gemini. Hopefully it's a good race. Hopefully I win. Gemini, man, is the Arrow redemption story with me continuing. Is that, I forget, when I mention Arrows, I forget Gemini is an Arrow. And it is definitely one of the best Arrows still remaining. I mean, not named X2. And there's a few others I think I have over it. But Gemini is such a, it's one of those delightful, fun rides. Great, great interactions. And yes, breaking news, I actually got a dual shocking only the second or third time of all the racing coasters I've done. Uh, and I got a new credit because in 2018 I rode the red side, this time I rode the blue side, and we won. I actually won the duel too. Crazy. Um, I've never done it before. Apparently if you're here with a big group, there's, this, there's a game like you call it, it's like pass the buck where you pass the dollar on the ride with the other train. You get super close to the other train. You can high five them. You can, it's really, really fun. Absolute delight, considering this thing is 45 years old now, running like a dream. It's smooth as butter. Some really, really good drops, really, really good airtime hills. Nothing mind blowing, but with the interactions and it still being a fun ride and some history, it's a win for me. It's a nice ride, 6.98, really, really good. It reminded me of like one of those like Schwarzkopf's that you laugh a lot. You laugh a lot in this one too. I hope they never get rid of it. There's been some rumors, I think, oh, maybe Gemini's the next roller coaster to go here at Cedar Point. I hope not. It has a great place in this lineup. It really does. So here's hoping. I am a Gemini fan, Gemini supporter. Um, and it's one of the better arrows and one of the better dueling coasters, for sure. So that is the 27th. Let's do, uh, let's do a good ride tomorrow, huh? Maybe. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be a good ride tomorrow. Stay tuned. It's going to be a good one tomorrow, guys. Love you all.